Greetings, PaintMyWords.com subscribers. Welcome to another episode of the Paint My Words Report. I'm D.B. Williams, the host and creator of PaintMyWords.com. Credit for the artwork, photos, and commentary contained within the series can be assigned to both Lindsay Williams, my wife, and myself. All work and further commentary can be found on my blog at www.PaintMyWords.com. This show chronicles a recent trip taken by Lindsay and I to farms in both Fair Bluff and Aberdeen, North Carolina. This photo is taken of the shallows of the lake. What I like is the sense of depth you can see when you look through the algae and the layers of tadpoles. It, it creates a nice sense of motion and also a sense of, of depth. Uh, another red image here. This this was taken from the side of a, a truck, and this is the actual rust colors. And this this is another image where the saturation has been brought out. Um, there's there's a yellow and blue contrast which plays nicely against each other. I also like the the shape that's created through the two barrels. Uh, this is an image of a hose. I, I like the way that it brings you across the picture. It, it's kind of sweeping your eye to the right of the image. I also like the contrast of colors on the hose against the foreground and the, the green in the background. It's, it's a nice dynamic between the red and the green. This is, this is an image of farm machinery. You know, it looks like a kind of over saturated the, the middle colors, bring your eyes down to the center of the piece, and then lightened the highlights on the, on the farm machinery, uh, framing it. Uh, there's a nice contrast between the orange and the blue and the yellow that kind of bounces across your eye. This is an image from a truck, actually, taken from the side panel. I, I like how the yellow and blue play against each other, pulling the viewer onto the left. Uh, this is a few images in black and white that have photoshopped together. I, I, I like the angles on all these pieces. This is a wonderful black and white image of a hose taken from a very close perspective. Again, another piece that draws the viewer's eye deeper into the photograph. Uh, there's a sense of motion with this piece. Uh, a very cartoon, uh, actually picture tape from beneath the steering wheel of a farm tractor and it, and it made the colors very bright and vibrant. Reminds me of my childhood to a certain degree. I, I like this piece. Um, sand, I, I brought up the contrast and this was actually taken by my wife, Lindsay. Um, a picture from a pizza house in Fair Bluff, near North Carolina. And I like the picture on the left how your eye, again, gets taken deeper into the piece. You, you look through these metal structures and it takes your eye to the blue and green horizon. This photo follows the classic example of being divided in thirds, uh, thus drawing the, the weight of the viewer's eye. Uh, you know, I really just like this picture in, in, in black and white. I thought, I thought it spoke powerfully enough, and it's a message that people can all relate to. This is an image from an old light socket. I like the grain, and I like the color in this picture. Anyone wonder if cows see ghosts? I do. And I like the classic nature of this picture. It says, hey, this is a great American family dog. These dogs you can throw in the back of a pickup truck. Uh, it's just got a classic graininess to it. It, it, it screams. A uh, picture of an angry goose. Uh, this is another rolling picture of the tadpoles. Wondering what the dogs are looking at at this point. This is an image of a llama. And I've, I've saturated the color and made him look like he's coming from a cartoon. You know, I, I like this feel. It's, it's, uh, this is a picture from a turkey that I've, I've brought the red and the blue out, and they have a nice contrast. They play against each other. Um, but what's important to note here is how they were cropped. Uh, it's, it's getting a certain angle. Uh, an antique picture of a goose. Uh, a very vibrant picture of flowers. I, I like how the flowers separate from the grass and how there's a hint of yellow on the left-hand side. Oh. 
uh, like the skull played against the feather, the red of the rocks played against the green, a, a landscape spread of a food of a table. Uh, I really like the, the green coming forward at you from the, the punch ball. An image taken straight from the ground, um, from a different perspective, from the Fairbluff Farm. Um, these are all images from Grandma Betty's farm. Uh, this are flowers from the lake. Uh, the red and the green play nicely against each other. Um, more images from Fairbluff Farm. I like this image because you see a figure hidden in the trees from the moss. This image has a nice esch feeling and the shadows play on the water. Uh, a dragonfly uh, juxtaposed against red, a self portrait on water. A uh, birthday party, uh, I like the graininess of this piece. Uh, the same images, more images from Paige's birthday party. Um, Paige, I, I like how the background is actually hidden and filtered out through white. And you see Paige's face coming forward to the foreground. This is a picture of a modern day cowboy. I like the blue and the red. Oh! Uh, a graveyard on the side. I, I, I like how it draws the viewer off to the left of the picture. Uh, just good times laughing. Uh, Billy Goat. Uh, this is Clinton Lindsay, my wife. Uh, Lindsay again. Uh, uh, black and white image. Uh, turkey. Uh, I like the orange and the, and the blue again. Uh, they jump against each other. Uh, the green and the blue and the yellow and the red and the motion that, that draws your eye across it. Uh, this is a great image. Uh, notice how close the green comes at you from, from the four-leaf clover and Lindsay hidden in the background and the detail on the hand and the ring. And it's, it's just, there's a nice difference in layers on this piece. Uh, you can see each piece very clearly and it, it's it's very well tied together. Uh, again, uh, the motion in, in the brown and black draw your eye across the piece. Um, a close Lindsay smiling on her car. Uh, I like the black and the white again here. Very traditional. Uh, nice crop angle. Uh, again, uh, same image, just cropped a different way. I like how the purple and green come out, juxtaposed against the black and white on Lindsay. Oh, this is a great image. Uh, uh, good face capture as well, very expressive. Uh, you can see the real human side. An image of Grandma Betty. Uh, I, I like how the back has been overexposed. It, it helps bring her face to the foreground. You can see it's a darker, more negative image in the front of the photo. Um, Grandma Betty classically telling a story. You can see the action with her hands moving forward. You can also see the tree, the triangle in the background. Uh, triangles are very interesting shapes. Oh, uh, Grandma Betty. And you see, see the player looking across the photo. You see the white and the tree. This has action. This has movement. Uh, Grandma Betty again with the hands, very gestural. This is an image of a uh, rose. I like I like the graphic. I like the the red. I like how it's got a cartoon uh, uh, balance between the the red and the black in the the uh, the flower. I also like how the the green and the white and the blue in the background are kind of on a different different plane. Um, another image of flowers. Uh, this one I uh, fully just blackened out the background. You can see the red popping at you. Um, a, a tree, you know, this, this is an interesting picture in that it draws your eye, your right eye, towards the left side of the image. It curves across the page. Um, a, a family portrait of uh, Keith and Whitney. Um, this is uh, following uh, a wedding reception. Um, just a classic black and white image. Uh, Deidre, uh, another, another antique looking black and white uh, image. Uh, again, you can see how I like the grainy feel of this. I like how the legs sweep.